So for this video today, I'll be talking about my first ever custom build mini ITX PC. So the reason behind all of this is that I travel a lot for work. So I wanted to make a small form factor PC. And I know what all of you are going to say. Why not just bring a laptop gaming PC? And, and the reason behind that is that I used to travel a laptop gaming PC, but I started having some small issues with it and then a friend and colleague of mine here at work he also had a laptop gaming PC but he had like a big issue with that with his uh, laptop and he decided to make uh, a mini ITX build so I decided to also follow on his footsteps and here we are so I built this setup back in September of last year so it's been traveling with me for four or five months already so I just wanted to focus this video also on that aspect since I know there's not many videos talking about um, traveling with a setup like this since of course it is not practical but I will say that it is doable. So I'm not gonna dwell, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the components and the performance but I think there are so many videos on YouTube talking about this already that I just want to just give you a more of my insights about traveling with it. So, but regardless, for the components, um, you can, I made this whole setup by just watching uh, Devin Johnston's video. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Um, his video is pretty straightforward. As a first time for me, like making this um, a custom build, it was pretty easy. I only had some small issues that, uh, I mean, at one point I forgot about one of the cables that I should have gotten, but you know, it was pretty, pretty easy to follow through so I would recommend that if you want to build something like this um, and just in general check out his channel he's one of the guys that I check a lot whenever it comes about um, custom builds so like I said you can go into his video he'll give you all the details about everything on the inside and on the outside but yeah for the highlights since I don't want to dwell on this so much is that the case itself which is the Terra by Fractal Design I just love how this looks it looks so minimal. Yeah, for the CPU, I'm using the Ryzen 5 7600X, and for the GPU, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 4080. In that case, I know the 4080 is touted as a 4K gaming graphics card, but since um, I wanna do more 1440p, and because I have an LG OLED 27 inch display 1440p panel, I decided, you know, why not get the 4080 then, and just have like, high-end gaming with a 4080. I couldn't done well with a 4070, but I went with a 4080. I just got done with Red Dead Redemption 2. The game looks beautiful. I can, I sometimes get a max frame rate of 170 FPS, so yeah, it runs great. Other than that, I also played uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and those games haven't had any issues, and since this panel can go up to 240 hertz, those games I, I've been playing on like max FPS of like 190 almost close to 200 so Yeah, you just tweak the settings and you can get probably the max FPS on this monitor with this setup. Yeah, that's for the For the performance actually the my one of my gripes with these um, With these builds on on YouTube is that 
you don't see any follow-up videos whenever you see most of this like you can see a video of these guys like putting a great video on how to make the build and then test it with some games but then i'm looking for like a follow-up video like uh like three weeks later or some months later to see how the the pc has been doing on a more consistent base but i guess that's a thing of youtube with these youtubers but yeah that was one of my grass like when i saw this video i wanted to like okay is there a follow-up video like a couple of months later like how it has been behaving and everything because i think there are some learning curves when it comes to custom pcs in general like you have to tweak the settings at times just to get more optimized performance in general like make sure like nothing is running too hot anyway so the traveling factor with it so there's been times that i have most of the time that i travel with this i do it with company storage we have some space available for us that we can put our stuff so usually it goes there um but whenever i'm traveling from from work to home or from home to work i have to um check it with me on the on the flight so that's a uh, an, a stressful experience but whenever i arrive to the hotel and take it out the only issues that i've been having with it is that some of the screws are loose a little bit so i have to tighten them up again and the other thing is that the GPU bracket cable that goes into the motherboard, that cable could be at times like pushed out, so I just have to push it back in. And then, I mean, when I turn it on, then it all works fine. I do travel it in a small Pelican Air case that I wish it were smaller enough so I could uh, take it with me on the flight as a carry on, but um, I think it does its job of like protecting the case pretty well so if I would give you a number of how many times I had to travel with it on, on flights it's probably like four five six times maybe and nothing out of the ordinary has happened so um, yeah I would say like still the most practical way if you want to game on the go you can I mean we're in 2024 we already have a lot of handhelds like the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, or I mean, you want to go more simplistic, you have the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, the Lenovo Legion Go, I think it's called. And like, those are better options. I think I want something more like on the high-end gaming. So that's been my experience with um, this mini ITS, my first ever custom build. I have been enjoying it so far. I The only thing I would recommend is that if you do travel a lot, and you have to check this build a lot with check luggage then i wouldn't recommend that since i think this the consistent amount of stress that you keep putting into the the build itself like i've been like yeah i guess like at some point if you travel like weekly and then have this like as check luggage all the time then at one point something might come fall apart so but if you do it like me like you know like sometimes you know like a couple of weeks there you have to check it in on a flight then no issues whatsoever as long as you don't do it on a consistent basis but yeah that is all for for this video hope you enjoy it comment share subscribe if you have any question whatsoever and yeah i'll catch you on the next one peace